disease called African swine fever has been spreading out in China, Vietnam, Mongolia, Cambodia, and even in North Korea, leaving South Koreans worried that it might spread in Korea too. Since there are no current available medicines or vaccines to cure this disease, the best we could do is to prevent it from spreading. With this, from June 1, the Animal and Plant Quarantine Agency has reinforced that those who fail to declare hand-carry animal products will have to pay fines up to 10 million won. Individuals coming from countries suffering from African swine flu who fail to declare hand-carry products such as pork will have to pay fines depending on the number of violations. Foreigners who refuse to pay the fine will not be allowed to enter the country or will be restricted to stay in Korea. Also, remember that meat products like ham, sausage, beef jerky, and so on are restricted items when entering Korea. In case you are carrying such products, don't forget to declare those using the customs declaration form and submit it to the quarantine officers at the airport or ports. Lastly, those who work at agriculture and livestock industries are requested to refrain from visiting farm or livestock market within five days after traveling overseas. You are a quarantine officer who makes Korea clean. Last month in September, an undocumented foreigner left the country after allegedly involving in a hit-and-run accident in Changwon, Gyeongnam Province. The Ministry of Justice has therefore decided to implement a prior notice system before voluntary departure to prevent such undocumented foreigners from running away after committing crimes. This is because an undocumented foreigner of a Kazakh nationality who had caused a hit-and-run accident left for Uzbekistan the following day by misusing the voluntary departure system. Therefore, beginning from October 21st, undocumented foreigners cannot voluntarily declare and depart from the airport only on the day of departure. They must visit the nearest immigration office at least three days prior to their departure, submit their voluntary departure application, passport and ticket, and undergo a departure screening. In addition, the Ministry of Justice plans to conduct inspection at the airport on the day of departure whether the person is wanted for committing a crime even after prior report process has been completed. However, in order to minimize the confusion caused by the immediate implementation, it was decided to promote it for two weeks and then implement it in earnest. Meanwhile, the eight-year-old boy who was the victim of the hit-and-run accident is said to be in a critical condition and recovering slowly in the hospital. We hope he will get better soon. At Amman TV, we receive video clips about accident and incident, as well as news report related to immigrants. If you'd like to report, please call us or contact us via email.